Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. I am Jason Barber, and I am your instructor for Physics 111 this semester. And I'd just like to take a few minutes and introduce you to the course and uh, show you around the Canvas shell a little bit. So this is the home page. When you come into Canvas, you'll see this each time you log in. And there's a to-do list over here, as well as some links to get you started. If you're coming to my virtual office hours here, this is the same link both places, uh, but you can easily get to that from the home page. So uh, when I have virtual office hours, that's the place to go. Uh, the main links that you'll really be using are modules, maybe announcements, but you'll get those by email as well, and grades. So really modules and grades are the main things that you're going to be using. And uh, so let's dive into modules a little bit more. All right, there are quite a few modules. Most of them are numbered. This first one has some um, things like, well, a link to this video tour, uh, information about me, information about AACC. Um, oh, the syllabus, that's in there. So check that out as well. Um, also read about my commitment to uh, reducing and eliminating equity gaps or what are also sometimes called opportunity gaps. Uh, I want every student to have a chance to succeed um, and to, to really have the best possible chance to succeed. So please see me personally uh, if you have any questions about that and, uh, or, or just about your situation and, and how I can help you to be successful. All right, here's some information about Canvas if you need any tips on that. Most people can just skip over that by this point, but if you're new to Canvas, you can check that out. All right, now we get into the numbered modules. This is module zero. So again, an introductory module related to chapter one. And, oh, that should say fall there, but the, the uh, message is the same, is that most things are gonna get turned in on paper, uh, but if you are turning in something late or if you're absent from class, uh, you still need to turn things in by the due date, so electronic submission is, is okay then. Um, but that does mean that you're going to see stuff show up on your to-do list after you've handed me a paper submission. Um, until I get it graded and put it into the grade book, it'll still show up on your to-do list, which is kind of weird. Um, but as long as you know you've turned it in, then, then you're good. And you can always email me and, and ask me if you really need to uh, verify that. All right. So here's a, a basic kind of somewhat different uh Definitely not a standard module. Um, I'll show you what kind of a, a typical module looks like in a little bit. And we will take a math skills assessment during class time. And you'll, you'll get a certain number of points for it, but it doesn't count towards your grade, I promise. Uh, but it does give you an idea of where you are in terms of your math abilities. And before or after that math skills assessment, and I really recommend before, go into all of this stuff in the algebra review. There's some practice quizzes. They do not count towards your grade, okay? Take, take them all, you can uh, take them multiple times and um, get up to speed on your math skills. Super important. It's one of the top two reasons that people are not successful in Physics 111 is because of rusty math skills. Uh, same thing for trigonometry, it's just another part of math. Um, and so you don't need to know much trig, but what you, do need to know is super important and you'll have a really hard time getting by without these basic trigonometry skills. So take advantage of those, do that before the first day of class. It would be awesome. Again, it's not required, doesn't count towards your grade, but it's gonna make a big difference if you are ready to go with your math skills. All right, module one, small module. We'll get through that quickly. All right, module two, this is where we get to a fairly standard, fairly typical looking module. There's an overview page. Uh, this is just a one-time thing where you'll get access to the equation sheet. I'll also give you a paper copy. Um, the note packet, this is what we're gonna use kind of as our outline for class time. It has some background information, some definitions. There's fill in the blanks. There's uh, problems that some of them I'll demonstrate for you and some of them you'll do during class time. All right, let's see. 
oh, additional resources, please take advantage of these. They, they mostly link to Khan Academy and Physics Classroom, but each module I have searched out and found specific places, specific pages within those resources to take you to, to give you the, the best help possible. That's in addition to me, the no packet, your textbook, office hours, and so on, but that's there. Um, almost every module from two onward will have a lab. Uh, we'll have an expert TA assignment. So that's an online homework system where you'll input uh, answers and you'll get immediate feedback. And then you will also need to turn in work and not just you know anything that you're turning in like what you think is is sufficient but when you click on this assignment you'll see what exactly i'm expecting from you in terms of showing your work sometimes i'll ask you just to show your work for some parts and not others of the problem or maybe some problems you don't have to show your work at all uh, sometimes i'll ask follow-up questions uh, about a particular problem so it's really important that each week or each module you're reading what it says in the assignment because this part b assignment is, is tailored to each problem within each assignment. Uh, we'll have a quiz for each module as well. And then this is just a wrap up reminding you the learning objectives that you saw in the overview page and checking that you've mastered those before moving on. And so that's what a typical module looks like. Again, this is a great way to, uh, to keep things organized and uh, like I said, this is a typical module. So, all right, I've rambled on long enough. I can't wait to meet you all in person and I will see you all on Tuesday. Feel free to get started on any of the activities in here in module one and in, uh, oh, there we go, in module zero. There's some assignments you can just dive right into. You don't need to have class before you start working on them. So just go ahead and get them out of the way. You'll feel better about it. All right, like I said, look forward to meeting you soon.